All right, guys, we're gonna do something we don't usually do. Well, not a whole lot anymore anyway. No. Pickup video. Yeah. All right, maybe we can make this like a quarterly thing because I find we have more videos and we have time to actually put them out now. Yeah, yeah. that's just it. So do we want to play who picked what up in this pile and see who scores? We could if you want to. Put your guesses out right now. Who do you think picked up more games this one? Do you think it was Captain eBay or do you think it was me? I'm the sweet, innocent one. I don't know. It's going to be close. It's going to be close. All right. So vote right now and we'll let you know at the end. First game. Heavy hitter. Castlevania, Aria of Sorrow. That was the last one we needed for the Game Boy Advance collection. Yes. There's the three of them. Shout out to Johnny Chase. He had it. He also What's had up? a Harmony of Dissonance. We already had it. So we have a double dial, which is like... Well, we're going to... Yeah. We'll trade it for something. Our doubles don't last long. I don't keep doubles. I don't no. have room. I don't... And I know a yeah. lot of people do keep doubles. We just... Well, it's good for trading yeah. or, or if they have an ebay store whatever That's true. that is this is who's because you've been talking about it for a long time it's you you pulled the trigger on that one okay one for jen ding one for jen <laughs> all right we have it on the ds we have chrono trigger i haven't played chrono trigger yet but i am going to play chrono trigger yeah in the new year probably going to be in involved in the community picks there yeah. so it's up to you guys yeah if you want them to play it. what way would you want me to play would you want me to play it on the ds version or do you want me to play it on the super nintendo version? i heard that was a really good version i, I saw yes. some people have told me it's the definitive version to play it on phil told me it's a really good version i feel like you sent me to parlor to get that did i I think you did. So then technically you bought it. No, because you sent me. You sent me. Shut up. Okay. Alright, that one's mine. That one's yours. Alright. This one's mine! <laughs> Another uh, DS game. Do you know what? You guys contacted me. You guys me. are awesome. You guys are awesome. Several people contacted me. A um, couple people were even like, hey, if you want to pay the shipping, you can have it for free. That's My crazy. My God, that was a sweet gesture. Yeah. I did end up buying it a few weeks, or I think a week or so before that. Well, here's that. the thing. Um, we had a video that came out, and yep. it was the St. John hunting video, and we had missed out on that. But by the time our video came out, she had already tracked one down. I did. So people were like, well, hey, man, I got uh, we got one here. I got one. You want to buy it? And, yeah. And uh, But she already had it. She couldn't wait. Anyways, we have all of them now, so this this is this is my pickup. I'm fine with that. I'm Technically, fine. two of those she picked up. But I saw one for such a good price. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is this probably gonna be my pickup? That right? is your pickup. <sighs> I it's can't just even Lagaya pronounce it. It's too. He's not even gonna try to pronounce no. it. No. Anyway, as you all Dual know, saga. I I dipped my foot into the RPG realm, and now I'm I've, I'm. It piqued my interest. He's an RPG guy now. <laughs> well, I only got one. I got to go, but it was really good. So now I really want to try more. Yeah. <laughs> and I seen that. It was at Moncton Pond, and I was like, what's that? He gave he us looked, a really good deal. He always hooks us up. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of, I guess since this we're talking mine. about Moncton Pond, that one's yours. This, this one's one, definitely yours. This one is mine. Uh, now, there is a prequel to this one. What is it called? Disaster? Uh, something I cannot remember uh, but yeah raw danger it, it just it was intriguing because it's a six playable character each with different abilities and you have to get them through this like torrential downpour and get them to escape from the city I was like it's just different I don't even know if it's different did good. you even look up gameplay I didn't <laughs> screenshots of gameplay it's got a pretty cover i want it yeah it looked cool it just looked different you know what i mean so while you're with me yeah your pile is bigger than mine no because that's like games we had before i have three games over there three to right. your this two. one's definitely mine i had to get it on ebay i've been looking for a while yeah. it's one of the heavy hitters i want on my xbox it's bloody roar extreme mm-hmm Got, it got it in Canada, so there was basically, shipping was almost free, I think it was like five bucks, yeah. so that's where I saved. And other than that, it was the cheapest price i actually seen on eBay, yeah. I've been looking for a while. Did they try to talk you out of getting this one, or was that the one? No, that was one of the Sudokans. Oh, you were yeah. like, it's kind of scratch, but I think they sold it for too cheap. And they were like trying <laughs> yes. to get you to back it. Well, I don't have, I got the Sudokans. That's after. not even how you pronounce it. We don't know how to pronounce it. I don't know it. how to pronounce it. You guys know. Generation Pixel, pronounce it properly for us. We have 
Sui Coden 4. Now, Sui Coden 4 is fantastic. It's from a series that's fantastic. Absolutely love the Sui Coden series. So anyway, like, I don't have a whole lot of the heavy hitters left on my list for my original Xbox collection, but I'm running into a problem of space. Now my idea is, and I'm going to do it, but every time I put a game into my Xbox collection, because I have no more room, then uh, some of that filler has got to come out. We have less than no more room. We have... Four well, or five Dem games floating across the Denver top. Denver Gamer sent me a, a few there. I think it was four or five yeah. Xbox. And I was like, shit. I mean, this is uh, cool, but now I have to pick stuff out. So and I I'm not enjoying that idea at all. Ooh. At Ooh. all, at all, Ooh. at all. Stop. Almost dropped it. Is this going to be... Yours? That's yours, because you told me. You told me to go on Amazon and buy it. Just because I press buy doesn't mean it's mine. All right, let me argue this point here. We got the uh, the twin pack, the Final Fantasy VII and Final Fantasy VIII on the Switch, the remastered versions. Now, the reason for me getting this is because I have Final Fantasy VII, but I haven't played it yet. It's, it's another one of those backlog games. I, I fully intend on getting to it next year. That one and the remake. I want to do both of them early on in the year. And after I did my um, Skies of Arcadia, mm -hmm. a lot of comments said that you should get into RPGs. Yes. And they, a lot of them said Final Fantasy VII for you. Yeah, but then you... So I'm accommodating her with giving her her Switch, her handheld version of it, because I know that's the best way for her to play it. I'm leaning towards playing it the old school way for myself. I'm gonna pop that thing in probably in my PlayStation 2 or PlayStation 3. And uh Doesn't that just sound it. like a fucking cop out to for me to, for us to purchase this game so he can add it to whose, a Switch collection? Whose credit card did we use? It's all the same credit card! <laughs> it's all the same! So I don't know. Maybe we put this in the maybe pile and Maybe, no no no, we no, bought no. it. Shush! Maybe we put it in the, it's not quite Jen's, it's not quite Scott's pile until the I end. And if I need one comments, game, if I need one game to push me over the edge, then the this comments, will go in Scott's. In the comments, if you want Jen to play it, then tell her that's her game. Shut up. <laughs> you go put that in limbo somewhere right now. Limbo somewhere. That's limbo. That's mine and I'll take Here it. Ooh, <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> Song of Horror Deluxe Edition. Now, in all fairness, Scott did send me a screen capture from work. He does this all the time, and I'm... I do it because I love you. And But no, I'm going to take this as my own. I'm <laughs> going to take it as my own. I forgot to order it, and then I was uh, watching Co-op Old Nerds, and I was like, oh, balls! I forgot to get that. And maybe even Easy Going Gaming had it in his. Yes, he did. Yeah, possibly. So two people I've been watching on YouTube... Uh, both had this game, and I was like, I want that game too. So, <laughs> that's, that's my Did game. Did they at least say it was good? I don't know. <laughs> I can't even remember. I can't even remember. I just know that I was like, oh shit, you ordered this. I ordered it for you. He bought it. But I ordered it for you. But he bought it. That's bullshit. But you that's bought it. Bullshit. Fade to Silence, it just so looks like a me game. It's absolutely you game. It is. It's, it's a survival kind of horror-ish. I've seen gameplay of it. it. From what I've seen, it looked really cool. Your survival is because I feel like you're in like Antarctica or something, or you're in a frozen wasteland. I don't know if it's like yeah. post-apocalyptic. for. That's what it said. literally says, takes players into a frozen post-apocalyptic world. Right? Did you write that? I think I did. But yeah, there's machines, so it gives me like Horizon Zero Dawn vibes with Days Gone. But pretty darn cheap. Even cheaper on the Xbox One. Yeah, but we love our PS4. Harder to get it on the PS4, but somebody really likes the PS4. I do. So, I'm probably never going to play it. Fine. Here, take your game. That is my, this is my game as well. Uh, Tormented Souls, I actually... I feel like one of those right now. <laughs> I remember when this came out. And then everybody's like, God doesn't have a soul. Yeah, you I heard you. I remember this coming out, and I was watching Easy Going Gaming again. He's getting plugged all, all through this thing because it's a survival horror. <laughs> You're costing me money! <laughs> yeah. I, I actually sent him a... No, I sent him a message. I'm like, don't forget to get Tormented Souls. <laughs> he did buy it, too. So he probably had already pre-ordered it, but I, you know, if we're going to suffer, we're going to suffer together and spend money. We're all going to go poor we're together. Going, we're going broke together. So this mm -hmm. is mine. Whatever, fine, whatever. <laughs> all right, this one's mine. Got the NHL Hits series. Um, I loved NHL Hits 2002. Yeah. 
Then I got the NHL Hits 2003, which I enjoy even more because they bring more of the uh, hockey rules into the yeah. into the gameplay. Whereas, like, you can't get those dirty goals where you run the goalie over and empty net score. Uh -huh. So, uh, you know, Canadian boy, there I like my hockey. Um, a little bit. It's still arcadey. I still got those big hits. Got I had to get this one, but I haven't played it yet. But I'm waiting for a night there. I judge you. I know, right? I'm waiting for a night there. It's me and you and Dennis. Hockey Canada judges you. Maybe we can do a stream or something. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Anybody would anybody watch us play NHL hits? So anyway, that one's mine. I I had been looking for this pro you version been. for yeah. a while. The next one's yours. Damn, it is too good. Yep. Mm. And this, the next one after that's yours. I thought I'd missed out on this because I think it. Was, I don't know. I think it was a limited run. It may well have been. Anyway, Panzer Paladin. Mm -hmm. um, as you can tell it's not open yet. No. It's going to be. It, not, if you guys ever see us uh, doing a pickup video on the the wrapping still this, on it, this is, it's only a reminder to say, hey, you yeah, haven't played that yet. This is like a bookmark in my stack of games. It's shiny. Ooh, I never played that one yet. Yeah. You know, that's what happens. This here, I learned about watching Happy Console Gamer. Yeah. Um, raved about it it's very much the kind of uh nintendo feel there like yeah the 8-bit graphics oh yeah you're in like a mech suit and you can jump in and out of the mech and go super fight cool. and platform and stuff you would love a mech suit any oh, game yeah. we play if he can get in a mech anyway he will run you down to get in the mech. i got this on ebay and i was like holy shit i i paid 60 bucks for it in canadian yeah but I absolutely thought I, I missed, you missed out. out. I thought I missed out completely on it. So when I seen it on eBay, I uh, I bought it. It's one of those ass. I'd rather ask for forgiveness than to ask for permission first. When do I ever say no to you buying games? That was my when, theory. Look around the basement. When have <laughs> I said no? It's not a word I'm even familiar with. I guess. I'll ask you tonight. <laughs> for a game. I'm pretty pumped to play this one. I know and you are. And this is soon. I got a PS2 game on the go right now. I don't want to ruin it there. But we'll, I'm at the end of it. And once I finish that one off, this one here is probably going to take me close to the end of the year. Yeah, I think it's so. It's Tales of Arise on the PS5. I guarantee you this is going in here within the next week. Yeah. 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 So um, I don't get to play I, anything. Man. I am itching to play this one. I've seen little bits of pieces of gameplay. Yeah. I've seen some first thoughts on the game, and I'm, I've been really itching. It uh, looks really cool. My friend uh, over in Sweden, yeah, Patrick, Patrick. Um, at first he said they sold out the PS4 physical copies, but I think they're back in stock now, so I don't know okay. if he got it. But anyway, he basically talked me into buying this, so you can blame him, because I was so willing... So that's Patrick's? Yeah, so I, I was willing to wait. I was going to say, I don't want to get it day one, I don't want to pay full price, I'll wait six months and I'll pick it up at the pawn shop. And then he said, I got to pick it up now, because those RPGs... They just, sell out. they just sell out, yeah. they only make a certain amount, and then they go up in price, they're in the fucking scalpers. So do we put that in Patrick's pile? Is that what you're trying to jump uh, for? Yeah. No bullshit, Patrick put is... it in your own pile. Oh, he bullshit. talked you into buying it. This one's yours. That one is mine. So we have the council, and I didn't know a whole lot about this game. It's a rare game. It, it is, and now it's not gone up in price significantly. But they're not easy to find, and even less easy to find on the PS4. We were in at what is now GameStop. Used to we be, have a GameStop we in have Canada. A GameStop now. Used to be EV Games, but they bought them out, and it's all GameStop now. Yeah. So we get to complain with our American friends with GameStop. Oh, hmm. we have something in common. <laughs> but it it looks really really cool, and it's it's got five episodes to it, so all of that is in the complete edition. It's just like a mystery game. You're trying to figure out what the hell is going on, and it's in 1793. So, what does it say on the back? As a member of a secret society, you receive an invite from an ignomatic lord to a private function with some of the world's most... I don't even know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> when playing power games with the occult, one slip could be fatal. So, it just sounded like something I would really enjoy. Right alley. Yeah, and it wouldn't be scary, but it would be, you know, that mystery kind yep. of, and I'm like when I get burnt out of being scared shitless constantly, then I can still let, play this and get a little bit of a feel of that. She says that. It's, then it's like this, probably 10 months of the year you're playing horror games. I know! Halloween 
Halloween party. Halloween and from ha like say November December she's like okay I, I need a break and then January comes around survivor. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. So we are October second today as we're filming this video and Halloween is on my mind oh. hard. All right, we're into the last one. This last one I'm not gonna say where we got it, but it's Silent Hill Downpour on the PS3 and when they priced it. They done fucked up. They done fucked up. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I can't see that sticker there, but... I don't know, see. It's $14.95. It is not a fourteen dollars 95 Price game. charting, I think, has it... Almost 70 It's 70 bucks. It's almost $70. I, I, do, I do the same thing when I go to the store. They have their 360 rack, they have their PS3 rack, and then I go... I do this, do the whole thing, mm -hmm. and then I just... I'm like... I, I grab I see it and I'm like no fucking way and then he's <laughs> I'm like, like and I'm like hey come here and then she's looking at it and then she has to do the scan it and then look at price charting she's like <gasps> well at first you were like do we have this game well yeah I was like I, I do I have it I have it on 360 but I didn't have it on the PS3 and I looked at the price I was like I don't even fucking care if we do have this game we're buying it <laughs> twice because we'll tra use it as trade value trade, yeah yeah anyway they done fucked up done fucked up and uh, thank you <laughs> yes. That's not mine. That was yours. <laughs> Hell it is! Put it back over there. You bought it. I think I should take because it's such a steal of a deal. I think I should have to take one out of my account. No, put it back over there. This is definitely yours. No, we'll count. We'll count. Okay, go. I can't count that high. I only have five fingers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Fuck. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm not joking! And you're, and you're counting your... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No! No! How about one each? Aww! So we're eight. Eight, eight games each, so we're, everybody's a winner and a loser. <laughs> <laughs> Depending on how you look at it. Yeah. Like, but my don't vote have to counts. sleep on the couch tonight, so... Yeah, my vote counts twice, so I win. Yes, dear. Okay. <laughs> So that was our pickup video. Um, we were trying to make this month completely just Halloween, but we're gonna throw in a pickup video there. We got some scary games, Jen, so I think that Jen counts. loves editing. I do. I I'm just... almost out of beer. This oh video must be done. Oh my god, it has to be. All right, guys. Until next time. Game on. Game on. <laughs>